Hey folks, Quilly Teen here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld! In this episode we are gonna go and raid a site leading us to an artifact, but I didn't necessarily want to do this right now, but I guess we're going to have to. We're gonna bring everyone except the child Odette and hope she's okay on her own. Um, I don't want to kind of half-ass this, so we're gonna go a little crazy. Are we fully... we're actually not fully rested. Hold on, let me reset everyone. And we'll go through a little sleep cycle here. Yeah, a little bit of a break risk too was brewing for someone. This environment impressive insulted. No one went on an insult spree. It must have just been a random conversation. That's far from ideal. Mm -hmm. Hopefully Odette's going to be okay by themselves. While we're away. It's a bit of a risk. But we're going to take it. Oh yes, the harvesting heal root. Hmm. How are you coming you're not sleeping? Did you just skip your sleep cycle? That's not ideal. I reset you? No, you're still going out doing that. Okay, well, we'll just have to deal with it. Wait for everyone else to get up, eat some food, and then we'll go. Still leaving 17 hours. I mean, I guess I could wait for the noon sleep cycle. But, wow, no, we really do need you to go to sleep. Uh, or we're going to have to deal with this raid first. I really hope Hope's not, mm, she is out on the corner of the map, but I think in a relatively safe area. Okay, tell you what, everyone go into wall. Let me reset everyone. Watch these attackers go and blow up the shuttle or something crazy like that. Hope get your ass inside. I know you're moving a little slower right now with the pregnancy, but no, okay, you're fine. Okay, they're gonna prepare for a while, then attack. Our traps are back up, they are. Oh, we never brought these guns in, which is a little less than ideal, but not a huge deal breaker. I don't think they can reach it right now because they're not allowed outside the walls, but that's fine. Just focus indoors. Okay, they're beginning their assault. That was quick. Get in position uh, right there. And then again, the only two people with range tools go and sit over there behind the cover. Die, die, die. Ooh, you went through four traps. Oh, these guys are tough, aren't they? And they have guns. Well, we'll have some range tools, so that's something. Actually, I should have sent... I should split this. There we go. I'm actually worried about friendly fire more than anything else right now. Okay, Mathis has already been injured, so I'm going to pull you back a little bit. Avi, same thing. Pull you back a little as you get these injuries. Okay, come back in. There you go, they're fleeing. Although I think that's probably only just one group. Oh, the fire's not good. Although what I like here is that we are going 3v1 on these guys. I am going to set you to ignore. Oh, right, we've got the foggy rain. I don't actually have to worry about the fire. Never mind. Okay. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Pull back. No! Ooh, that's not good. Okay, go back to the search and destroy. Hang on, pull back here. Okay. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. He's gonna turn around and try to Molotov us in a second here. Hope's gotta move. Move. Okay, you're fine. Okay. Unselect. Bonds. Um, where's Spear? Oh, shit! What? Come through over here, as it turns out. Do a bit of a sandwich.
Okay, luckily this person's not very fast. Try not to shoot your buddies. Oh my god, the second drone is not a good time. Uh, hope, I'm just worried that you're gonna shoot your friends from this angle. Apparently, from that angle, you might also shoot your friends. Go down already! My god! Okay, um... Unrestrict everyone except Odette. Sphere... Nine hours. We can probably bring you into the base. And have you be okay. You're still alive. No, you're dead. Sorry, I thought I saw a little puff of something. No, you're downed. Uh, this one's still alive. Steven Wilcox. Oh, you're about to bleed to death, so... What about Gomp? Death in four hours, and you're missing a leg. I gotta say, those are some pretty good specs here. Hmm. I'm gonna get you to tend without medicine this person. And we'll see what we can do. At nine hours, you're probably fine. I think it's worth the risk to bring you in first and treat you with proper medicine. No immediate danger. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to capture Gomp. Okay. Tending to spear, good. Hey, look, in eight hours, yeah, this should be fine. Now, that means, you know, you did have an open wound for a little while, and there might get infection from that direction, but hopefully you'll be okay. Low Psychic Drone, so did we miss this? Parting in five hours. How minimal... I think we're just going to have to fail this quest. Oh, what terrible timing. We should get another opportunity, though, for the Relic. Bonds is sad wandering. Okay, I mean, not an ideal time, but it's not the worst. Spear, so you were fully treated. Gomp, right, he's getting another round of treatment. That's fine. And you are missing the leg, but that's going to be okay. Yeah, we'll do the convert, reduce resistance, recruit, all that jam. A war merchant. Okay. Trade. And yeah, we brought those guns in now, which is good. Um, I'm not going to care about the smoke launcher, so we're going to sell that. Same with you and you. And I don't tend to use the Molotovs, even though they're very good, just because I'm always worried that I'm going to use them in a bad way. And yeah, we may also sell the cloth. We've got a, we've got a cloth industry started at this point. So I think we can go and cycle those. I might keep this helmet. I get rid of the plasteel knife. I'm gonna get rid of this yayo. The go juice is actually pretty good. We can do great things with it. But I think for now it makes sense to sell it. We're not can't buy components. I don't think I need the pemmican. And yeah, mostly you're gonna be selling weapons. I think this is okay. We just sell some things for silver and call that good enough. Ooh, a spear does have an infection. Oh, from a burn. Entirely reasonable. In real life, burns are a big source of infection. We're going to use regular strength medicine to start off with. Quest failed. I know, I know. But I had to take the raid seriously, and I think it's okay that I didn't send some people away right now while things are a little bit rough in the base. <coughs> All right, while you're still unconscious, I guess I'll go ahead. I am going to go and set this up. We're going to lose some room in our freezer. On the other hand, it's going to be that much easier to keep the temperature up. I guess what we'll have to do is start building some shelves in here to have some more concentrated storage space. Bond's still on a sad wander. Which one of the changes in 1.5 is the sad wander, I think, or... Yeah, I think sad wander is limited to two days duration. There you go. No longer. Because it is random, the duration. But sometimes it can be very annoying. Okay, you're feeding a meal. 
sure. Gomp has got an infection. Okay. I mean, you are really bad at it. Maybe you shouldn't be doing it. Smogger going for a rest. You know what? I know it's your rest period. I'm going to get you to do this. Now, this is going to reserve all this food for the prisoners. I guess I can have this poke in a little bit here to give us a little bit more room in the freezer itself. Yeah, okay. We'll do it that way. You yourself are slightly hurt, but you're not actually that tired. So you know what? Just go ahead and get started on working on this, please. I miss out on the sleep period, but that's fine. I bet you this nutrient-based dispenser still works, even though theoretically this food is all part of the prison and therefore it might be counted as reserved for prisoners. I bet you this nutrient-based dispenser still works for our people. And everything will work once this gets built over here. Mogger, okay, you're doing that. You are quite hungry. Scab Hulk? Scab Hulk? Intercepted distress signal. Hostile shuttle carrying a sanguophage master and three frawls having trouble with its engines. You can use signals to draw it to a crash. Yeah, okay. We can fight the sanguophage and its minions, capture it, turn when you're... I don't think I want to do a sanguophage this time. At least not at this moment. I guess... Wow. Oh. This from all over there it hasn't been hauled in yet. Odette needs to be more, do more hauling. Oh, you're hauling? You are hauling just some hay right now. Okay, components, and you are really hungry. But perfect. Finish the job. There, now you can go and eat. Okay, so now the prisoners, there you go, and you can see the color coding. Now prisoners will, oh, they won't feed themselves yet. We need to put down a couple of hoppers. Actually, I'm going to put them here. I think we'll use this area for shelving. Now. We follow the rules, bottom left corner, counterclockwise. This is the first one that's going to be used. So we might want to copy, and I can do that now. I'm going to copy the meat rules from this into that. So these, both these hoppers can be used for meat if we happen to have them, and they will be consumed first. Although it doesn't matter anymore. Now we've got a freezer. It really doesn't matter anymore. And... I might want to lower these to preferred. But yeah, since we have a freezer, okay, here's what I'm going to do. This hopper is going to be critical. I'm going to copy this and apply it here. No longer is this going to be specific to just meat. These are all going to be set to critical, which means that these will be set to important. So we're going to fill these hoppers first, then these, and then shells are preferred. So that'll be good. I'm going to make sure colonists will have food first before the prisoners, if we run into a slow food, a low food situation. And most importantly, if we don't have any prisoners, we can take food out of here and move it over there and it'll all be good and groovy. Hey, farming work site. I do want to do a like a really raider focused run of Rimworld at some point. Just never get around to it because I mean, I can't like my vibe. Oh, shelves. So right now we're running a mod that makes the shelves not have a quality. Um, it looks like in 1.5, that is now part of the base game, which is great and something I definitely agree with. I do not think that shelves should have a quality by default. And I'm using a mod to quote unquote correct that. And it turns out, I guess the devs agree with me. So we're going to do that. I suppose we don't have to keep survival meals in here. I guess what I could do is actually copy the rules from this. If I copy these settings. There we go. Yeah, that includes some raw materials and things like that. That's okay. Um, and I guess I could do the link, but I find the link selection a little awkward, especially when there's things on the tiles. So I'm just going to do these pastes for now. We might do a link later. An ancient mech. Oh, it's our first time passing by the ancient mech. Medical emergency. Wait, Spear has the medical emergency. Okay, your immunity is ahead, although it is quite severe. I guess I should turn off the doctoring, since you're not very good at it. Um, let me tag this bed for medical, because then what I can do is tell you to rest until healed. Heat stroke? Oh, it's 37 degrees outside. Okay, it's pretty toasty. How are these bedrooms doing with just the one cooler? They're fine, but yeah... We will want more. Let me actually just do this one first, just to make sure this block has got anything. Now, hopefully, people are going to go tend to you.
Well, I don't even know if you need... No, you're okay right now. Although someone should really feed you. There you go, good. Because being fully well-fed does help with growing your immunity. But yeah, Spear's gonna be okay. Not by much, but they're gonna be okay. You tended an hour, but it's not gonna be required. And immunity get. Whew. Okay. That's some heat stroke. Okay, you guys are fine in this room. In this room, 21, good. That's a freezer. This room, oh right, might need a cooler. Might need a, an air conditioner, but it's not gonna be a priority. Medical emergency on Gomp. How's your infection, actually? No, you're also fine. Okay, good. Oh, um, Hope. Yeah, you've got a convert action ready to go. Ah, so this is something that's also changed in 1.5. You cannot use an, a convert attempt on someone who's sleeping, which doesn't matter too much for your own colonists because you can always just wake them up by recruiting them unless they're a deep sleeper. But you can't force a prisoner awake. I mean, I guess I could delete this bed and that would work. But yeah, the convert action, um, maybe all the chaplain powers, I'm not sure, but certainly the convert action forces someone awake when you use it. So it, it just removes this tiny little annoyance. Oh, research, what do we work on? Gas operations, right. Yeah, we haven't built the trade beacon and we don't have a comms console yet anyway. But this has been cleared out. I guess I really do want to do that as well. And this diagonal will still seal this room. So despite the fact that this wall isn't built yet, we're still going to be okay. We already need a bionic leg for Gomp. Oh, you're awake. You're just in recovery. So let's give you... There we go. A gift, an advanced component. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. And what is... Uh, what's Smogger doing? Playing horseshoes. Okay, that's fine. And then you're going to eat because you're hungry. And then it's probably a sleep cycle. But, uh, can I get you to, like, clean some dirt here? Kind of wish I had the clean room command from 1.5. Again, there are mods that I think added that in, but I'm not running those. Okay. Now, marble wall of that size. And what I probably will do is take down this wall and just make this a really big room. There we go, that's sealed in, which is good because eventually that's going to go away. We can plan some concrete here and then underneath those two doors. I think everyone's fine. Gomp, you should be immune now. You are. And you're still missing that leg. That's fine. We can, and we might just have to give you a peg leg early on. But even that will make you happy once you're converted. Warfare for profit. Those are some rewards. But I don't want to deal with a raid right now. Especially since the one from events like that tend to be bigger than the ones that you'd normally face. Okay, so these guys... Oh, this tile here is probably set to preferred already. So I need to reset this to normal. So that people actually start using these shelves. Stack things more efficiently. Great. And then, yeah, we're going to... Um, what am I looking for? Build copy. No, just a few more. You know, it's, it's a pretty tight fridge. There's not a lot of room for things there, but... For the amount of people we've got right now, it is the right amount of buffer. We may have to do something about it later. Well, if we need to, all we do is we, we tear this down and just combine all this into one larger fridge. We might be able to just build in a second wall for temperature control, but then still end up with more space overall. We can also, people can walk through shelves. So you can, we can actually fill all this with shelves and not have it be a problem. Smodger's in bed. Mathis hauling the machine pistols. Great. Right, so who else has got some shooting skill here, if anyone? Oh, there we go. Mathis has got shooting passion. Let's give you the chain shotgun, my dude. Javi, you don't have passion for it, but you do have a skill of four. Smogger's only got a skill of two, but does have passion, so we'll give you the machine pistol. Spear is no longer armed. Chain shotgun is pretty short range. I think it's like the heavy SMG. 
And I think it does better against non-armored targets than the heavy SMG. But it falls off a little bit if anything's got armor on. It doesn't have as much pen. Now, I guess we should do the trick where we make stone beds here. I'm trying to remember the end table. Does all it do is add comfort or does it increase sleep speed? Comfort increased. Um, okay. So the reason we do stone beds is because stone beds, you don't get rest as quickly. So prisoners spend more time sleeping, which is less time than trying to break out. So what we can do is plan something like this, and we still have room for like a table and stuff over here. A wooden end table right there. We should get a light in this room too. Maybe right there. Boom, boom. Okay, good. And then we'll put some flooring and everything. Oh, an ambrosia sprout. Okay, what we'll do is we'll do the trick where we put down a growing zone. To cover all the ambrosia I can see. Disable sowing. So now any fully mature plants in this area will automatically be chopped. That'll include trees as well. You can use this to like designate a big area so that trees just keep getting consistently cut down. All right, gas operations. Uh, do we do this at the machining table? We do. Heavy SMG. Um, do I want to put it above the armor? Probably. Let me ask for three of them to be made. Definitely need more steel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and ask for a wall to be built here. In preparation for when we mine out the rest of this vein. So I will also go and tell them to mine out that much for now. Please and thank you. Although we're still lacking a, a proper miner. Maybe Maddie doesn't have that much going on, although I'd like her to research. I'm going to go ahead. And do this. Oh, what was that? Oh, that, oh it was only seven. When I was trying to turn on the mining and then the bloop bloop was from the spear being fully healed. Hope has your cooldown. Still a while to go. Oh, I guess I could do the uh, conversion ritual on the prisoner as well. I forgot about that. I was thinking about for Odette. I forgot you can use it on prisoners. So maybe we'll do that when the cooldown comes up. There we go. Resistance is dropping quite quickly. Heat stroke for spear. It is 40 degrees outside. You'll probably do the move to a safe temperature thing soon. Um, Smogger. Oh, you're missing components. Oh. My bad. Hang on a second here. Why don't you come over here and mine out this place? I know you weren't very close to it, but... Tough patooties. Bedroom unhappiness. Again? Oh, it was really filthy in there. People might be walking through this bedroom. Maybe I should forbid this door. So people don't walk through this bedroom. Go outside. Yeah. Okay, two components. Was I short three? Oh, there we go. Yeah, prioritize working on the cooler, please. Because I'm worried with the heat stroke and I slept in the sweatiness. There we go. Major break wrist. That is Maddie, who was just forced to do a bunch of extra work. There you go. You'll be you'll be fine now. Okay. Good. Work on these walls, please and thank you. An eclipse. All right, that's fine. Um, is this not home zoned? I'm worried that you might not be getting maintenance. That is indeed the case. Let's take a moment and check to see my home zoning. Actually, let's include these outside bits so that they get swept. Then I think all our walls... Oh, I guess I can do that. Okay. I think that's okay. Good. That's going to get maintained before it breaks down completely. 
I'm actually happy that the eclipse happened and made me think about that. Uh, you don't have any power, but that's probably just because there's no power reaching the prisoner room. That is indeed the case. Let's just go and do that. Okay. All right, well... Oh, Hope's Baby Prep, yes. Um, we still don't have a proper hospital. Let's make sure we've got ourselves our crib. And baby decoration there. Toy box. I don't know if the toy box matters for this age. But we'll get all the, the kid stuff set up. We've had our, you know, baby shower. The people brought gifts. We've got some wood. There's still a fair amount of construction to happen, but I think this should be okay. Actually, maybe I should prioritize getting the crib up, but... Drinking Psych IT. You know what? I won't interrupt with that. That's going to give you some very happy thoughts. Plus 12. And yeah, let's go ahead and build this crib quickly, please. How come you didn't finish it? There you go. Thanks. Okay. And then yeah, you're going to roof all this up. Baby prep, skilled doctor. I mean, we don't have a skilled doctor. That's the quality of the crib. That is good. That's fine. Birth room, clean floor, good bed. Well, I wonder if you'll just use your own bed here. Heck, even clean floors are hard to come by. All right, we're going to go and put a cut in here. Folks, What? I, this was an exciting episode. I do hate that we failed um, one of the quests for the arch rifle, but we'll get another chance. We'll get we'll get more chances for more of this info. But yeah, having getting ourselves a legendary assault rifle or um not an assault rifle, right? Charge rifle. Yeah, is gonna be really handy. Ah. But yeah, I just misinterpreted because there's one of those is like it puts a it puts a comp a, a place on the map, on the world map, but you've got all the time in the world to go. Right? Or is that just the with the village one? Maybe the one for the like, Rune Base always is with a shuttle. I'm not sure. Anyway. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.